Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to me and my shadow. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody had a great week. I know I did. I had some setbacks. I'll go into that. Uh, but you know what? It's just life, right? And uh, welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to the channel where you are accepted regardless of your addiction level. Um, if your addiction level on motorcycles is small right now, we aim to improve that and make sure that your addiction is lifelong and all-encompassing. There is no recovery on this channel. Let's ride, guys. Let's ride. So welcome new subscribers, welcome old subscribers, welcome casual viewers, thank you for watching the channel. Before we get into the topics of today, I just wanted to mention that hit the like button, it really helps the channel grow, and we've been growing guys, so thank you all. It has nothing to do with me as I have already mentioned. Wow, it's kind of cloudy, and I want you guys to chime in and let me know what you think as well. Does the weight of a motorcycle really matter as far as, like, I don't know, can you handle it or not? This, this kind of came up, I saw a couple videos on it, and I was already thinking about it anyway. But this also kind of came up, um, I joined a forum on Face Group for Vulcan, Kawasaki Vulcan Voyagers. Because um, that's what I've set my sights on and my goals on for my touring bike. Because I want to get a uh, 1700 Vulcan Voyager. So I joined that and <clears throat> I was asked some questions. And I put a picture of old girl up here on the Facebook page. And said, well, right now I'm currently riding a Honda Shadow 750. She's the love of my life, the joy of my life. But I will be graduating up and adding another bike for touring purposes and that's the Kawasaki Vulcan 1700 and I immediately got responses back from forum members that were saying hey man that's a huge step up be careful you know blah 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 and I was like well I've ridden bigger bikes before and I you know I don't plan on just going out and going crazy I'll take my time and get used to the bike and things like that before I go on long trips and uh, they were like well the weight is such a big difference they said you know you should probably go ahead and start out with maybe getting an 1100 and ride that for a while and before you come all the way up to a 1700 and I was thinking to myself you know you might be right but at the same time you're probably wrong I mean most people start out when they start out they have no cc's into their belt right they start out on a oh that was it sorry Woo. they start out on like the 500 or they start out on the 750 so you jump from zero cc's to 750 cc's just like that so as long as you're not stupid and as long as you're careful and you take your time, as long as you take your MSF course and your safety and, <coughs> excuse me guys, <coughs> allergies, and read a lot and um, watch a lot of really good videos to, on safety and be, just be smart and you're going to be fine. You, you get wreck and kill yourself on a Honda 250, right? The weight of the motorcycle <coughs> in my opinion is really only going to make a difference in slow speed maneuvers like U-turns, parking lots, backing up into parking spaces, you know places where you're forced to go really slow. I don't feel that you're going to really feel the weight of the motorcycle once you're out on the road and doing any kind of speed. Um, matter of fact, it's going to probably feel like nothing to you. What is it with the freaking railroad tracks every time I come down this way? Every single time. Oh, my God. I feel a long edit coming up in my future. 
anyway guys um i don't think the weight of the motorcycle really matters not really um and to compensate honestly safely for the weight of the motorcycle there are quite some things that you can obviously do and i would say one of those things that's really important to do is to find an empty parking lot and practice those slow speed maneuvers practice it with that bigger motorcycle if you're going to go that route that's my plan once i do get the bigger motorcycle i will have it out and i will be not setting up cones or anything but i will be doing if you go back and look at some of my safety videos and things like that you'll see that i spend quite some time in parking lots practicing u-turns practicing figure eights practicing things like that and that will help me get used to the bike and the same is true if you're a new rider as well i believe that you ought to do that i really do i think you ought to take you know if you spend two three hours out riding you ought to spend a half an hour of those two three hours out there i don't know actually practicing because you never really know what's going to happen and once the more you get to know the weight of your motorcycle the better off you're really going to be because you're going to know how what it will and will not allow you to do and i always hello sir i always um highly highly recommend that you do this especially if you're a newer rider with just yourself um get used to your weight the way your weight shifts on the bike and things like that before you take somebody else out but man thank you guys so much for the comments also i want to uh bring out a comment and i can't sir i cannot remember your name you're from england and you captured the heart of my opinion of the excitement of motorcycling and it said that you know you, once i say this you'll know who you are uh, and i apologize i'm so bad with names anyway but he'd mentioned that um he'd been with his wife for i believe he said 14 years how come i can remember all the details but never any names i don't get that anyway he said he'd been with his wife for 14 years and she'd always been afraid of the bigger motorcycles Obviously, this is a gentleman that wants to take his beautiful bride out with him on the adventure. And um, he said that they saw a Honda Shadow 750 American Classic Edition, a little bit older than this one. I believe he said it was a 2001. And she just instantly was like, yeah, I'll ride that. I'll ride with you on that. So now he's in the process of getting her um, some safety gear, a helmet. You know some safety stuff you always want to protect yourself and the person you're taking with you obviously it's irresponsible if you don't in my opinion but man you just capture the essence of what it is to motorcycle man and some of you may not feel that way some of you may feel that um you know it's a solo thing and you only have one seat just for your ass and that's it and that's completely completely fine man either way the thing is is whatever Whatever your draw, whatever your reason is, is going to get you out on that motorcycle is going to be so vitally important to you. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about because obviously I don't know how to make points very well. Um, in my business, for those of you who may not know, I won't beat a dead horse. Those of you who do know, I own a business. It's a lawn care business. I am a one-man show. Except for in the summer, my daughter helps me. She's paid pretty handsomely for all the help she gives me too, but she's really good. Anyway, God, I'm distracted this morning. Um, I mostly have residential customers, but I did have a couple of, and I and stress did, have a couple of commercial customers. And they were pretty much a huge boon to me. I got them last year, this is my second year in business. And uh, anyway, long story short, they really created quite a bit of income flow for me. Um, and I carried them both of the accounts since last year, I had no problems with them, um, handled the accounts just fine. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I serviced the property and the uh, management company who owns both the properties I service or serviced let me know here's one of the properties right here over here to my left um, let me know that oh they've got a lawnmower for sale 
What the hell? Um, that my services would no longer be required. They'd hired a management company to come in, could come in and do more of the maintenance stuff that they needed to do. And of course, this company also. It's an old Toro. I wonder how much he wants for it. Anyway, so they let me go. And, you know, I know it's just business, but man, it still kind of hurt. I'll be real honest with you. To be honest with you, revenue-wise, um, these properties, like this one I'm driving in right now, and there's another one, equal together about 14 or 12 to 14 to 15 yards in revenue. So, um, it hurt. I understand why. They probably found somebody that can manage the property, do the plumbing, the electrical, anything that they need to have done, and mowing the uh, mowing the grass and the common areas and stuff is probably small potatoes to this company, and I get it. So, anyway, that's not the point of the story. The point of this whole story is, is that I had this bike in the garage, and I'd had a rough day anyway, and I was able almost like a Christmas present that's always waiting for me at home. I was able to get out on the bike, ride, clear my head. And it really made a huge difference, guys. So no matter what your adventure is going to be, if it's, if it's the purpose of taking long distance trips with your significant other, riding with friends, um, whatever it's going to be, man. Having a motorcycle in your life is like having a secret weapon. Fogging up a little bit. It's like having a secret weapon in your life. And having a good, reliable motorcycle is key. The Honda Shadow 750 American Classic Edition, as I've told you a million times, and will continue to tell you, is just such the machine. It is reliable, smooth, plenty of power. Like right here where I want to be polite. Sorry kids, don't do that at home. Do as I say, not as I do sometimes, I guess. Anyway guys, that's really all I got. I know I'm starting to ramble on here and I apologize for that. If you stuck this far into the video with me, I do greatly appreciate you guys so much. I'll go home, edit this down for your viewing displeasure. Um, welcome, welcome again, new subscribers. Welcome old subscribers. Welcome casual viewers. Welcome everybody that decides to drop in on this channel and give me a chance to enjoy the video or give yourself a chance to <laughs> not enjoy the video depending upon how you look at it. I uh, hope Again, that everybody has a great rest of your weekend going into next week. Uh, there's more adventure to come. The camping trip got put off a little bit. We had some stuff going on at home. So, we're not doing the camping just yet, but that is in the near future. That's going to be a fun one, guys. It'll be a good one. I'll probably have to break that one up into several different videos. But... Guys, that's all I got for today, man. I'm going to pull over here. You guys all take care. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, it's anonymous. I don't tell anybody if you subscribe. So, that way you can avoid the embarrassment. Of, oh, my foot slipped there. Of telling people, having to tell people that you subscribe to my channel. I understand. Believe me, I get it. But guys, no matter what you do in life, no matter what you do, no matter what your work is, no matter what your, I don't know, profession is, if you can get out there and you can ride a motorcycle, it will just enrich your life and it will make things so much better for you. Get out there, get out there and enjoy nature, get out there, don't just drive in nature with a four-wheel vehicle. 
drive through nature with a two-wheel motorcycle, man. Get out in it and enjoy it. Enjoy the heat, enjoy the cold, enjoy the rain, enjoy all the elements, and just enjoy life and enjoy it on a motorcycle. Um, that's all I have for today. You guys take care. You have a wonderful rest of your day. And always remember, guys, it doesn't matter what you ride. What matters is that you ride. Until next time, guys, be safe out there. Keep the comments coming, and uh, we will talk to you again real soon.